now we've got an amazing story, a medical miracle in action. Radical surgery for a teenage boy whose life was turned into a nightmare by Tourette's syndrome. There it is right there. In a moment, you're going to see, though, the results live of this incredible treatment. But first, our Dr. Rich Besser has the story. Sixteen-year-old Robbie Latiri deals with these tics every day. But every two weeks, he has an episode like this. He continuously beats himself up. He gouges at his eyes. He punches himself. His body can twist and contort into positions that you wouldn't even think was humanly possible. What do they do to control these tics when he's in one of these really severe ones? We protect him, put him on the floor. I have pillows and just stop him from hurting himself. Has he hurt you? A couple times, but you know, you take it. Robbie has Tourette syndrome, a neurological disease caused by misfirings in the brain, creating involuntary movements called tics, often physical twitching or verbal outbursts. But Robbie isn't the average patient. His major tics can last up to two hours. I have no control over it. I, I'm conscious. I hear everything, feel everything that's going on, but it's like someone has a remote, con hey! remote control and is just uh, taking over my body. Robbie's tried over 40 medications, all with severe side effects, but nothing has helped. What's been the hardest thing about Robbie having Tourette's? Hey! Just watching him suffer. He suffered enough. Our family has suffered enough. As a last-ditch effort, Robbie is trying a radical experimental surgery for Tourette's, deep brain stimulation. Robbie's Tourette's and his tics are so severe, the worst I've ever seen, that we really couldn't do the surgery with him awake to any degree. Dr. Alain McGillner at North Shore University Hospital implants two pacemakers in Robbie's abdomen. Two wires run up his body, into his neck, and are implanted deep in his brain. The hope is tiny electrical jolts from the pacemaker will stop overactive nerve cells from misfiring. Sorry. Two weeks later, Robbie is recovering well, and doctors turn on the device. But deep brain stimulation surgery doesn't work for everyone. Will it work for Robbie? 